Hey guys, welcome to my next pedal demonstration. This time I've got a reverb for you. This is the uh, Death by Audio um, reverberation machine clone. And uh, it's pretty simple in terms of reverb. You have a volume control and a blend. And the blend blends in the reverb, obviously. But you also have a gain control in the middle. And uh, it gives you sort of a distorted sound. Um, admittedly, it's not what I expected from Death by Audio. Usually, their gain sounds are really extreme. This is kind of a... I don't know, it's, it's kind of a really strange sounding overdrive. And normally you'd expect like a, an extreme sort of fuzz from uh, Death by Audio, but that's not really what this is. But we'll get into that in the sound clips. You also have a switch here to go between bright and dark delay or sorry, bright and dark reverb. Um, the bright reverb is very bright, but apparently that's adjustable um, based on one resistor. You can, uh, you can test resistor values between 10K and 1K, I believe, for one of the slots. I have a 10K in there right now, which means the bright reverb is very, very bright. Um, so I could probably tame that by replacing that with something a little less extreme. But it is what it is, and uh, it's a pretty cool sounding uh, reverb. It's very um, spacey, very ambient. So let's get to the sound clips. Alright, so here's the Death by Audio reverberation machine. Um, I'm going to be playing through my Gibson Voodoo Explorer into my Blackheart Little Giant 5 and um, it's going to be bridge pickup but this time I'm going to start with the gain on minimum volume on halfway, blend on halfway and on the dark setting uh, just because what the volume and gain do or at least what the volume does is it increases the volume of the delay so if you have the blend all the way down, the volume doesn't provide you a boost. It just uh, increases the level of the delay, and the blend increases the mix of the delay. So, uh, yeah. So here's the dry signal. So it sounds to me like there's a, a slight modulation on the reverb. Let's bring the blend down. And you get just about nothing. Actually, let's bring the blend down and the volume up, see if that lets us hear it. Very slightly, so. Becomes almost like a really big hall or a cathedral kind of reverb at maximum blend. So let's bring this back down a little bit and uh, let's start bringing in the gain control. So 
let's see if the gain is also just affecting the reverb. Now it seems to be affecting both. But the volume doesn't affect the dry signal. Or at least not very much. It's a little hard to tell. Let me know what you guys think anyway. But the gain kind of gives you this really sort of bassy. Overdrive, which to my ears isn't really very pleasant. Some of you guys might like that. I don't know. But it's definitely not what I expected from a Death by Audio build anyway. to me. Should have set up my volume pedal. Thank <laughs> you. 
much all I can do with it right now. Um, like I said, it's it's interactive anyway. You can get quite a few different tones out of it. Uh, most of them are sort of ambient, kind of directed, because the uh, the reverb in it is pretty long, so you can blend in. And like I said, it would probably be good for use with a volume pedal, or if you're really good at using the volume on your guitar. I'm not really good at that. But, um, yeah, it makes some really nice sort of organ-sounding pads, if you will. Um, but yeah, it's it's um, not really like a traditional sort of reverb. It's really more of an experimental kind of tool, I find. Let me know what you think in the comments, guys. I always like to hear what you think. And once again, if you'd like to try it for yourself, the uh, there's a link in the description for a layout. And uh, that's it for me this time. I'll see you next time, and uh, thanks for watching.